Hey guys, this is Wizard Oak, and of course, we are, of course, playing some Magic the Gathering. This is, of course, a new, uh, set, uh, new set of the M21, which M21 is probably, probably the most greatest core set in Magic the Gathering and history. Like, I really, really, really want to get this on Pepper, but... <laughs> You know, the whole pandemic and all that crap. But of course, I'm not saying, oh, pandemic is fake news. Pandemic is not fake news. It's serious, folks. So, yeah. So, uh, this is, of course, is a Mardu deck. Of course, this is, of course, with one of the most uh, popular cards from, of course, the, the, what do you call it? Well, I can't even say it, but you know, the the last set, which is, of course, is freaking awesome. Uh, even though, of course, this is standard set, so this is standard, best for one. And even, of course, I'm trying to get ready for the upcoming uh, tournament. That's, I, well, not tournament, but qualifier. So I want to get this every single deck out there, like every best of one type of thing so so yeah I mean there's over like 500 people are just saying up oh, but hell so okay so this is basically the what's this attack is all about is basically put many creatures non-human creatures as possible and even get uh window joiner of force and basically attack with all the non-human creatures with the dogs of course of course, if you're gonna ask, wait, the dogs, well, dogs are awesome in this new set, even the cats, but dogs are better. So, yeah, I mean, I'm almost like saying I'm a dog lover. <laughs> so, um, even, anyways, uh, the idea is basically attack with non human cards, and you will get free human cards for free! So, yeah, you probably like free cards. That even though you cannot cast, but you can be sent into the battlefield if it's on your hand. So, let's get down to the whole base of the set. So, okay, first we have Cephas Savior, which is the most adorable dog ever wearing armor. I mean, give a credit to it. I mean, I just love the art of it. It's so cute. Uh, basically this dog and it is a 1-1 one -one and it costs 1 mana that is right which is really good and cheap and even of course it can once you sacrifice it of course with it's a sacrifice available card target an honor creature you control have an indestructible so yeah this is this card is gonna have a lot of indestructible mechanics as I will explain later more is of course is knight of of Iberian legion which is great okay uh reason is it's a vampire knight so if you think of it it is great uh due to your fact uh basically you can buff it up by using the mama ability that is basically a two one well a two generic sorry and one black and you gain a Free free and death touch, which is great. Of course, only end of turn, but at your beginning of your end step, if a player lost four or more lives in this turn, put a 1 1 counter on the knight, which is excellent. And of course, next is, of course, a pain. Elpin Watchdog, which is like, look at the size of this dog, it's a beast. And even, of course, there's a two mana calls with one generic, one white, which is excellent. And even much excellent, it's finishing, and even it's a 2 2. It's a pretty really good as a beginning as a tank at the start, which is great. Honor, of course, is a classic from the M20. M20. Is basically, of course, raise the alarm, which is great for this uh, this deck, which is we'll explain later. 
And of course, you best require two uh, one one white human. I mean, white soldiers, of course. Even though they appear to be humans, but they're technically our soldiers, so they can't be classified as non-human creatures. Next is, of course, endurance uh, cub, which is great. Look at it. It's an animal dog, which is on fire, and it's a Basically, one turner, one red, and even of course, you got a mama ability that is, of course, have one turner, one red. That's basically this dog will gain a power of two. This is great. So, this dog will become e, a free, a free two, but this is only end of turn. So, just in case you guys are listening. Next one is probably one of my favorite uncommon cards, probably the most important for the set is the General Enforcer. General Enforcer is unbelievable card due to the fact legendary humans you control are instructable. Like I said, instructable in this uh, deck is so, so brutal. I mean, it will brutalate your, uh, your opponent. I'm getting like, wait, okay, hey, come on. I cannot straight that thing, even though I got my creature is stronger than him, but I cannot destroy him. So, uh, yeah, and even of course, I got a man ability that is exiled a card from the grave. If it is a soldier, create E1, white, white human soldier token. But to be honest, just don't use that ball. The reason is it won't work with this type of deck, I mean, this type of card, but. Unless this one, of course, probably one of my favorite uh, uncommon card of this new set. Uh, this is, of course, a pale hound master. Of course, so great about it. It is, of course, is a human warrior, which is fantastic. Whenever it enters the battle, you may search for. Your library for these two dogs, you can't have both, or, but I have something to skip both. That is, of course, a generic uh, club and the Buds dog here, was is so mm, must get. And even whenever uh, the Howling Master attack, it will gain X amount of power. And X is the amount of attacking creatures. This is so great due to this set. I mean, this deck is a grasso type of deck, which is fantastic. And even of course, this is probably the, the strongest card, the strongest card in this set in this deck, and even maybe the deck itself. Next one, of course, obviously, Judas. The scores in Diva, which is fantastic. When uh, basically do your abilities, other creatures you control will gain one, well, a part of one, which is great. Whenever a non token creature dies, she can basically deal damage to any target. So it could be a player, could be a plane walker, could be a creature, who knows. Next one, of course, I hope I'm not saying this because I always have a problem saying this name all the time. Tatterus Legion Eds, which is a brilliant card. I read Havis right now and Pepper, but it is Manlicent. Uh, it's a legendary creature, so that's what be great with your general. It's got Haste, it's got Mentor, so okay, some of these who are new to this new set. Or the whole mechanic of uh, haste and mentor. Haste is basically your creature can attack as once it's being, you know, being summoned. Mentor is basically uh, it will give a creature a one one that is lesser power than this card. So example, let's say you have this card and. You basically attack with it, and he come and attack with it, and he basically mentor this dog to be a one-one. So this dog got experience from him. So that's why mentor is great. 
and even of course can pre uh, prevent all pre combat damage that will deal to other creatures you control, and even a mana ability you will he will gain first strike until end of turn. And next is of course another uh, actually I kind of overlooked this card, but it's actually a way really great, which I did not notice. Uh, Wackless, uh, Fire Weir. Uh, it's busy human role, but it is like a four, uh, four mana card with two black, two reds, but it is a fantastic card when I look at it. Whenever it is entered the battlefield, it will deal two damage to each target opponent, two damage to a creature or a plane walker. So this is actually great if you basically using one and only winner the journey journal of the force this is like i said basically your main focus is of course having non-human creatures that attack and you may look at six of top of your card and you may put a human card among in the battlefield tap and attacking and also will engage indestructible so yeah this is the most indestructible force you have in this deck and even of course you have to put the other card remaining in your deck again and whatsoever in ram and order so yeah it's a great card other one is another great human is Kenron the returning king of course, obviously, look at stats. It's ridiculous, even though it's a 5 mana cost and he's a 5 5. But his abilities are fantastic. Like, okay, this is basically got like we got like red, black, white on our deck. So, basically, let's go and check on that odds. So, all creatures will gain trample and haste, so that's great. Uh, target player will gain 5 lives. And target a creature card, well, a creature from the grave into the battlefield under its owner control. So it's fantastic. Another is, of course, the legendary Emer Claim. Which, of course, this is my highly, highly, highly recommend people that you need to put this creamer on none other than the Hindmaster. Like I said, once the Hindmaster attacks with other creatures, give him the sword. Cause it's great. Cause due to the fact is X made a pirate if you have like five creatures, he's go up to let's say eight and you give him the email climber, he become a nine and even of course when he deal damage to the player with double strike that will be a total of 18 18 people that's like really really massive damage there and you love it and i just highly recommend that card so lands we got of course is basically your typical lands this is pretty neat, but I'm okay with that. So yeah, we're gonna add cyborg. I am gonna work on cyborg once I'm ready to make it upgraded to E. That's for free, but of course this is best for one. So best for one is kind of important for the upcoming tournament. So here we go. So now we have basically our win for our first match. So, this is my grade of the attack would be best for you freeze as E11. Because if it's basically do very, very well, it is fantastic. So, hold on. So, okay, let's see what we've got. We definitely, 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 definitely have a good hand here. Uh, we got, of course, the Sephiroth Savior and the Knight himself. So, I want to probably just go for... I probably want to go for the dog. 
dog is nice. Or maybe the knight. You know what? Top is good. Knight is best. So I assume he is a white person. As in a white person, as in like. Let's say a white player, of course. I mean, like an asshole white person. <laughs> so here we go. Oh, he's got two lives on him. So, we split for a while, and even we seem to have enough to get the uh, Judas here. Which I should have some pen and bed. Oh no, I think this is a chat on the player. A white and chat on the player. That's something. Checking on him. So, we got two. I just wanted like, you guys to witness it. So, right right now is she will be the blocker now. Unless he got something like Exile the General. Uh, General Enforcer, sorry. This will be a planomatic there, unless you got something to kill it too. Okay, I it. I know you were getting some lives, but... Yeah, he's going for it. Dogs to go for kill. Well, not to kill, but you know, I'm trying to get this killed. And then I have enough to uh, kill for the dog. Oh. Okay, my dog is well. Technically, it's a wolf, isn't it? No, oh, it's not a good dog. I don't know. Had the avatar sometimes for Hoosen. Good. 
dogs here. Like, this is definitely not good. Oh, this is what I'm talking about, but it's about too much creatures. This is actually decent enough. Uh, okay, nice, nice, nice. Probably put the king in there. Now uh, oh, what? Magic arena. Wow, somebody got that. Yes. It's better to get all these dogs off is because, well, uh, it's getting better to get all the creatures out of that. Like I say, I'm trying to get all the lands out. This is good. Oh. And here we go. We got E. Of course, E42. Uh, due to get a plus one from combat. Like I said, due to the fact of many creatures on the battlefield that is attacking, of course, on your side is tricks. And what's this gonna do? King himself, because he got more chance and more damage than any other uh, creatures you have. That's kind of like the most important part of it. Now, next oh, oh, look, got a elk unicorn. Right. Okay. Here we go. One more. Here we go. Last rhymes, of course. So we're gonna piss got like one out of one. So that's it's so good. Like I said, it's always important on what you draw. Order that person. Okay, we definitely, definitely got a little problem here. We got about two much humans. But 
we got the master. But of course, he can get more creatures. So I better just put uh, this one here. That's a swamp. Why not? But to wait until the next turn to summon our dogs. Don't tell me he is playing the same deck. This is gonna be bad. This might be bad, folks. Very bad indeed. I better just quit. Build up my army, I will say. Assuming he is playing the same deck. This is a mirror deck. This is a mirror match. <laughs> it's a mirror match. Oh lord. Oh lord. Oh lord. Oh, lord. Uh, this is nice. This is a it's similar to a mirror match, but this is a boar stack, anyways. Probably a block. Yeah. Double. Okay, okay. Now we can summon. So you got an honor. And we we'll probably just skip the king. King is nice. And now I could get another one, but I just wanna make frat like the king is more frat than the point. I should use the haste ability. Damn, I just did it. Yes. Well done, a bold move there, but I think we still probably make it. Not 100% sure, but my money is you probably want to destroy that or destroy the dogs. Okay, we might have what? That's good. Oh, that's not even good. Well, I will probably destroy it. And I will destroy that. So, yeah. This is a bold move. But like I said, this deck is actually really powerful. Uh, even of course this deck also can can break into Nessic. 
So even of course there are some players who are notified it can break Nisic. Even of course it is still early deck and like I said, you never know until someone have a stronger deck. So this is basically maybe the strongest at the early stage of the new set. So we have to wait until the med step, then the lat end game. So yeah, this is the early guys. So I will see ya. So I will say this. Uh, I hope you are enjoying the video. I hope you have learned your lesson as in like that way. I don't mean like in a bad way. I mean the good way. I mean I hope you learned your lesson and love the first new set. Uh, even of course we will basically do more as we can. And even of course go and of course subscribe to this group I'm part of. Of course, we are basically this new, of course, we call it uh, Mama Maca uh, Combined, which is an amazing group. But we, me and the other three guys, decided to bind together and basically decided to create our own group. So, even of course, uh, even of course, if you want to are enjoying my channel, of course, if you guys want to check my other concepts like my Final Fantasy, my Buttstocks 2, and even, of course, or you just want to see me play more Master the Gathering contents, like new deck guides, I will do that as I can, so I will see you guys next time, bye! Hey guys, Wizard here! I of course want to say thank you for enjoying the video and watching it and even of course I, I want to ask if you can go and check out my other videos right over here of course if you want to continue watching more of the gameplay and even of course if you are really want to see more and more videos and our contents you can of course go to well, the sub it. Sub right here if you see the icon up my head. Yeah, see that blue wizard above my head. So subscribe because I want to hit over a hundred this year. So I'll see you guys next time. Bye.